Welcome back to the seven. The 2022 open enrollment period for health insurance starts on Monday. That's when people can sign up for health insurance or change their health insurance plan. Joining me now is Carrie Kincaid, Vice President of Individual Markets for Priority Health. Hey, Carrie, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, of course. First, let's talk a little bit about some of the changes that people need to know about this year. Yeah, so it is a little bit different this year. Um, open enrollment begins on Monday, November 1st, and that's like usual. But they did extend the open enrollment period, and it's going to go all the way through January 15th of 2022 this year. Um, but it is very important to do the same thing that we do every year and get the coverage by December 15th to make sure that you don't have any kind of a break in coverage. You just mentioned that extended deadline there. What does that really mean for people? How do they benefit from that? I think that the benefit there is if you happen to miss that cutoff of December 15th, you have a period of time, about a month of extension so that you can still get coverage in 2022 because outside of special circumstances, you can't just open enroll throughout the year. And missing that deadline has got to be tough on families. Can you talk a little bit about some of the subsidies or tax credits that might be available? Absolutely. They've recently improved those subsidies and tax credits. And um, Health and Human Services has published data saying that four and five um, individuals and families can now find policies out there that will cost them $10 or so a month in premiums after tax credits. So. It's definitely worth a look this year. If you have not looked re in recent times, they've significantly improved. Well, health insurance can be a little bit um, difficult to navigate. There's a lot of paperwork involved, but it's something that a lot of us need. What are your tips for helping people pick a plan that's right for them? Um, I think it's really important to think not just about the premium, although that's very in your face and one of the first things to consider, but also just how you're gonna live on the product for yourself and your family. So with that, I would think through the prescription medications that you and your family use. And also if there's any physicians that are really important for you to keep. And then there's tools on either healthcare.gov or on the private insurer websites to help you figure out if your medications will be covered on the product and if those physicians will still be available to you so you can continue to live well on the product throughout the year. Okay, Carrie Kincaid, thank you so much for joining us. We'll make sure to have that information at woodtv.com. Thank you.